Okay, so let's have a look at some uh, log questions. Again, these are pretty useful um, either for additional maths or for IB standard level. Again, probably pretty useful for a few other courses as well, kind of standard sorts of questions. Um, so here we go. Uh, just a, a very, very quick recap. The, the laws of logs, we've got log A plus log B is log AB. Log A take away log B is log A over B. Log A squared is 2 log A. Now oh, we've got change of base law as well, so log base of A of B is equal to log base C of B and log base C of A. So we use all those laws of logs. And just a, a reminder as well that LUN is basically log base E and log with no base written is log base 10. Um, and it's worth just bearing in mind E to the X and LUN X are inverse functions. Um, and so when you do f of minus 1 of f of x, you just end up with x, because that's the definition of an inverse function. Okay, so let's have a look at some questions. Um, first one uh, is this one here. So we're saying, like, given that 2 to the m equals 8 and 2 to the n is 16, write down the values of m and n. It's a pretty easy starter. Uh, well, 2 to the power 3 is 8, and 2 to the power 4 is 16. That's a pretty generous two marks. Um, it says, hence or otherwise, solve 8 to the 2x plus 1 equals 16 to the 2x minus 3. Well, we just, we'll just we we'll use the hence. If it says hence or otherwise, we can use another method if we wish. Um, but let's use this method. So basically, 2 to the power 3 is 8. So I'm going to replace 8 with 2 to the power 3. And 16 is 2 to the power 4. So I'm going to replace 16 with 2 to the power 4. So this equation here just becomes this equation. I then use the laws of indices. If I've got brackets, I times the two powers, and I times those two powers together. So I get this. So 3 times, and then it's uh, 2x plus 1 bracket, and 2, 4 bracket, 2x minus 3. Um, once I've done that, I can basically expand out uh, the brackets. This is going to give me 6x plus 3. On this side, this is going to give me 8x minus 12. But remember, if they're both the base 2, then the power here must be the same as the power here. Therefore, I can just say that therefore 6x plus 3 must be the same as 8x minus 12. If I then solve it, I should get uh, x is 7.5. Okay, next one. Uh, this is very typical on IB in particular. Uh, here we go. Uh, log base 2p is x, log base 2q is y, log base 2r is z, and then it gives us some horrible log, and then we have to split it up. Okay, so we use the laws of logs in this one. Um, I'm going to write it like that. So log 2r squared q to the 0.5, because that's square root. Take away, because I'm dividing. Um, so that's my first step. I then use my laws of logs. I'm timesing those two, so I'm going to add. So I split it up so it looks like that. I then use the laws of logs that if that's a power, I can bring this down. I can bring this power down. I can bring this power down. So we get 2 log 2r plus 0.5 log 2q minus log minus 3 log 2p. And then I just refer back to the initial question. Log 2p was x. Uh, log 2q was y. Log 2r was z. So therefore, log 2r, that just becomes z, log 2q becomes y, and log 2p becomes x. So there we go, 2z plus a half y minus 3x. Okay, next one. Uh, let's actually solve an equation with logs. Uh, remember, that there's no base written down, so it's going to be base 10. Uh, use the laws of logs, so I'm, I'm taking away, so therefore I can divide parts inside, so this becomes log x plus 2 over x minus 2, still equal to log 5. Remember, because they're both base 10, this is log base 10 of this thing is equal to log base 10 of this thing, therefore the bit inside x plus 2 over x minus 2 must be the same as 5. So I'll just write that out, so x plus 2 over x minus 2 is equal to 5. There we go, nice easy equation to solve. Bring the x minus 2 over here, expand out the brackets, and I'm going to get x is equal to 3.
Okay, next one. Uh, again, same sort of idea as before. Uh, I've been given that P is log base A5, Q is log base A2, and then I've been given log A10, and I have to express that in terms of P and Q. Well, if I notice that log A10 is the same as log A of 5 times 2, so I could split it up as log A5 plus log A2, just using the laws of logs. Therefore, it's P plus Q. Second one, I've got log A8. Well, again, how can I make 8 from some of the stuff I've been given there? Well, I could say that 8 is the same as 2 cubed, and then use the laws of logs, bring the power of 3 down. That becomes 3 log A2. Now, log A2 is Q, so therefore it becomes 3 Q. And then the last one, how do you get 2.5? Well, I could do 5 divided by 2, so I could write it like that. And then use the laws of logs again. That's the same as log 5 take away log 2, which is P take away Q. Okay, two or three more. Uh, the next one, uh, solve the following equations. Uh, this is uh, LUN. Remember, another way of thinking about this, this is just log base E. So this basically says E to the power 3 equal to x plus 2. So it's just an equivalent way of writing it. This base, which is E, to this power is equal to this thing here. So E to the power 3 is x minus 2. If this was non-calculator, we could just leave it as E to the 3 minus 2. I'll see if we can use the calculator. Um, Three significant figures is 18.1. Uh, the second one, all right, we actually use logs on this one. We've got 10 to the 2x equals 500. I'm going to use this little trick here. So I'm going to log both sides. So I log 500 and, and I log this side. And then I basically bring the power down and I divide by the log. So I get 2x equals log 500 over log 10. So it's just a little trick, basically log of this divided by log of this gives you the power and then once you've got that stick it on the calculator divide this answer by 2 you get x is 1.35 okay two or three more let's see this one um they're written here lg is the same as log base 10 so we've got two log base 10 x minus uh, log base 10 of this thing equal to 1. Same idea as before. Let's bring up, this time, let's bring up the 2 here. So I've got log x squared take away log of this thing equal to 1. I can then say, because I'm taking away, I'm, I'm dividing. So I've got x squared divide by all of this uh, fraction here equal to 1. Um, remember, if you're dividing by a fraction, it's the same as timesing by a fraction flipped over. So actually x squared divided by this fraction is the same as x squared times by 2 over x plus 10. So therefore I get this. So I've now got log base 10 of 2x squared over x plus 10 equal to 1. And then remember what uh, the definitions for logs are. Basically this means 10 to the power 1 is equal to 2x squared over x plus 10. So I just rewrite that down. So therefore 2x squared over x plus 10 is equal to 10. And then that gives me a quadratic. If I then try and solve this quadratic, uh, I get two solutions. Uh, I'm going to reject the solution that gives me a negative answer uh, because I can't log a negative number. So log here, I'd be putting a negative number in. I can't do that. So I reject the negative answer and I keep the positive answer, which in this case here would be x equal to 10. Okay, our last two questions. At this time, we're going to have to use a change of base formula. We got log base 9 xy is 5 over 2, and we have to show something. Let's, let's try that in a minute. Um, first off, well, they've given us xy, so let's split it up into log 9x and log 9y is equal to 5 over 2. And then basically, look at this. Well, I've been given uh, base 9, I actually want it to be in base 3. So. Okay, I've just brought the two over there. 
it doesn't really matter if we do that or not. Um, I've basically looked at this here. I've got log base 9. Actually, I'd like to make this log base 9 into log base 3. Use the change of base formula. The change of base formula says, well, if I've got log base 9x, I can change it to whatever base I want. So if I want it in base 3, it's going to be log base 3 of this thing here, which is x, and log base 3 of this thing here, which is 9. So log base 9x is exactly the same as log base 3x over log base 3, 9. Now, log base 3, 9, 3 to what power is equal to 9? That is equal to 2. So log base 9x is exactly the same as log base 3 uh, of x all over 2. And I can do exactly the same for the other one, log base 9y. I'm going to change it to base 3. So it's going to be log base 3 of y, log base 3 of 9. Same as before, log base 3y over 2. Make those substitutions. So if I basically substitute both of those two things into here and here, uh, hopefully you can see that basically the 2 and the divide by 2 will cancel. And what I'm left with is indeed log base 3x plus log base 3y is equal to 5. Okay, so just basically substitute this thing here all the way into here and do the same for that one. Okay, it should simplify out. Okay, and then the very last question. I've saved the most difficult one to last. Uh, so it gives us a, a hint on this one about what to do first. Um, so here we go. It says, by using the substitution, y equals log base 3x or otherwise, uh, but we'll, we'll use their method. Um, so there we go, y equals log base 3x. So let's rewrite that. And you can see what's happened there. Um, first off, I, I've actually gone, well, I'll, I'll bring this power 5 down here. So I get 3 log base 3x squared plus 5 log base 3x minus uh, 2. Now, again, yeah, log base 3. So I've just used the fact that log base 3, 9 is 2. 3 to the power 2 is 9. So I've written it like that first. I'm now going to make this substitution where y equals log base 3x. And I get this thing here. So 3y squared plus 5y minus 2 equals 0. So there we go. I then factorize it out. I'm going to get 3y minus 1 and a, a y plus 2. And then what solutions does that have? Well, that's going to give me y equals 1 third or y equals negative 2. So 1 third makes this bracket 0. Negative 2 makes this bracket 0. But remember, we haven't finished yet because y was still log base 3x. So I now need to put log base 3x back in. So log base 3x is a third, or log base 3x is minus 2. And then rearrange that. That means 3 to the power 1 third is equal to x. So that's this one here. 3 to the, three to the power 1 third is equal to x. The second one, 3 to the power minus 2 is equal to x. So there we go. Those are our two solutions.